my name is Rick Cromwell, and I am currently a character artist at TriArc. Um, I'm originally from Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. I have kind of like a roundabout journey. It's very much in line with like this hero's journey format, you know, to a cliche. <laughs> and uh, so I was kind of the artsy kid, but I ended up pursuing um, a bachelor's degree in psychology, actually at the University of Memphis. And um, at the time when I was getting ready to apply for the master's program, um, I had kind of a, a crossroads moment, which is kind of a nice way of saying that I probably had a very, bit of a breakdown. <laughs> and I really examined like what path I wanted to take. Um, you know, whether it was pursuing my art or pursuing, pursuing psychology. And for years, I had been following uh, the Nomad School. And just, it was just the these things. It was so cool. <laughs> um, just seeing, like, just the artists behind all the movies and stuff that I loved. And uh, so I just, I took that chance. I took that leap. I put together a portfolio and I applied. And I thought, okay, if I don't get in, that's a sign. I tried. <laughs> I'll I'll go back, you know, to, to continue to grad school. But I got it. So peace out grad school. I'm going to LA. <laughs> and it was and it was great. Um it was such a great experience. I've had so many cool people. Um, a lot of my fellow classmates were also kind of career changers. And so we kind of banded together and got each other through this this really intense program. Uh, the games program had recently been started at Nomen. And um I think Jenna there was in our, our first class. <laughs> and um it was just, it was so cool. Um, video games have always been part of my life. Uh, I think my dad bought me and my brother Sega Genesis when we were kids, and, and it was over. I don't think he realized what, what, he, what Pandora's box he unleashed. And um, it's such a great medium for storytelling, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. Um, I played all those old, like, JRPGs, and that was so special to me as a kid. So I, I took that passion and turned it into my career goal. And that was, that was so great. I, I knew I wanted to be specifically a, a character modeler because I also had a bit of an interest in animation. And um, at the time we were learning that before it had just become free. And that was just the accessibility that granted cannot be understated. Mm -hmm. um, it's so user-friendly. And that was, that was such like a level up moment. So the hard work paid off. Uh, I got my internship at a uh, studio called Gadgetbot and got to work on VR demo which was a really cool experience. Um, and I kind of stayed in VR for, and this was like right out of school, like hit the ground running. Very fortunate to have like not missed a beat, but having a few weeks of sleep might've been nice, <laughs> you know, post-graduation. But I, so I stayed in VR for a while. It was, it was all right. It's really cool tech. I learned a lot, based pretty well. <laughs> and so it's kind of a bummer when you can't really play the stuff that you've made. Um, so that was kind of, that was more like a physical barrier. And a lot of, a lot of the stuff that I've worked on as a contractor the whole time. It was um, copied from different studios. Um, a lot of it was under really heavy NDAs. And so it's like stuff that like I can talk about and I'm sure yeah. in, in film, especially that's, I, I think that's why I strayed away from film because there's a lot of that. It's like, you can never talk about what you've done. So I was working for uh, Deluxe VR and my contract was coming to an end and I was contacted by someone at Treyarch. And this was kind of like the moment that I was waiting for. Um, I loved being on small teams but I really kind of wanted the experience of being in like a big game studio, like a game studio. And this was a big AAA studio. Um, I hadn't played a Call of Duty game in about 10 years, but that wasn't going to stop me. <laughs> and so uh, initially I, I worked with their external art team. Um, I got to work with a lot of kind of their, their outsource stuff um, while we were working on it. That was at the time when we were in production for our one up score. And that game was, was awesome to work on. Um, the character team, I was embedded within the character team, and they are such a cool group, just some really amazing artists, and I just, I was learning so much, and then as we started to work on our most recent game, Black Ops Cold War, um, which just came out this, this past November, um, I had the opportunity to move more onto the in-house in -house art team, mm -hmm. and do more of the art myself, uh, specifically with uh, like the character heads and faces, and um, working with and shapes and so like a little bit of that animation interest kind of comes back um no skills but, <laughs> but uh it's hard work it's very hard work but i i'm so passionate about this industry you know, I, I find it very fulfilling um 
you know, teamwork makes the dream work. So I'm, I'm glad to have a crew that's, that's very supportive, that's easy to work with, and, and we just we make really cool stuff. It's cool. Like, my brother's a huge Call of Duty fan. Like, he just played it religiously in the middle of the kids. And uh, so every time we ship a game or something, I can send him, like, a little bit of swag. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's been very fun so far. My inspirations, I think, keep fueling me to keep going. Um, you know, even when things are hard, even when the hours are long, the tech is crashing on me. Like, <laughs> you know, just every time Maya crashes on me, I'm like, okay, I have to remember why I'm here. <laughs> but, you know, just games, art, nature. Um, my, my parents are artists. My mother does um, a lot of, uh, like, abstract art. She does a lot of sculptural work. And, like as a jeweler and so kind of having that in the house like I always kind of like, like to do um, art you know just find my own way and um as as someone who falls under the umbrella of like you know, plus <laughs> yeah um, I think my own quest for figuring out my identity you know of just figuring out who I am and just kind of coming into that which is a lifelong quest you know has, has really kind of been um, writing shotgun with me, you know, in my quest to find what's fulfilling for me as, as a career, you know, to follow my creative passions and my creativity, I think is completely tied up in, in just everything that I am. You know, I, I love to learn, I love good story, um, you know, and just, I, I like to explore and discover. And, you know, in games, you can you see heroes in that, you know, and it's like, you feel like the stories are inspiring. So it's, it's just, it's a cycle. It's a cycle. Yeah. It's like a self fueling a cycle. <laughs> don't be afraid to try new things. Like, don't be afraid of failure. You know, I had someone tell me once um, to fail often and fail well. And that was, it sounds terrifying, but it's great. <laughs> you know, because no experience is wasted. No experience is ever wasted. Um, I spent six years of undergrad in a completely different field, and I, I don't regret life experience. It's good and bad that came with that. Um, but I, I spent a long time doing what I thought was safe. And sometimes you need to be safe, and sometimes safe is part of self-care. Um, but spend too long under that, too long under the radar, and you know, start to go into some other places and start to realize that um, or or at least in my case, I was, I was afraid to be myself. And that's that's not a good place to be, especially as a young, artistic person. Um, so I, I think had I gotten into art as a career sooner, you know, art gave me my chances to express myself um, and my identity. And that's, I, I didn't see a lot of visible examples of people who like me in games, much less making them. So that's why I've, I've always felt like representation is so important. And that's why like IFX is just a really incredible movement. It's really a movement. And, you know, I think that's inspiring. Um, and so I, I think I was actually a little bit afraid to do this, if I can be honest. And, but the reason that I was afraid of it was the reason that I knew I needed to do this. Because I just, I needed to see people like and so maybe if I become one of those people to be visible, maybe that helps somebody.